What's up today, YouTube? Welcome to Little Miles Advanced Weapon Tactics. I'm back with my brother, Upstate New York. It's been almost a year since I've been able to do weapons videos. Pretty crazy stuff because of COVID-19. And also because of COVID-19, we have to go kind of cheap with these episodes. But we'll make do with what we got. I want to get some content out for you today. So what are we testing, Matt? Yep, today we have throwing weapons. And we're going to be testing those against our Ivan Skull. So we have the throwing knife. And we also have the throwing spike, the ninja needle. This is particularly the black bean found on eBay for about $8. This is a Chinese throwing knife found on eBay for about $10 for three. These are older. The other tips of my other two have actually broken, but this one is intact. So we're going to be testing that today. And actually, if you can see here, it survived all of our testing today, the tip. So I'm pretty impressed with that and how well it worked. We got the black bean ninja needle. We're gonna try to get uh, Ivan. We're only about 10 feet or so away from it. I wanna not hit anything, any rocks, because this point is just so fine. I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but I don't wanna dent it from the rock. So I'm gonna just try. Oh, we got him. hit somewhere over here. I'm not quite sure exactly. We're gonna try to get it to stick for you. So we did get him. It actually did about that. What do you say about that, Matt? Yeah, it definitely punctured the skin. Maybe, maybe we made it to the skull, but not, definitely not into the skull. That's what I was looking for. All right, let's get it, man. What happened here? Yep, so let's check this out. Got a nice throw there. Actually stuck in the flesh this time. So if we remove that. Ooh. Yeah, not, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Let's see. Yeah, so that's a serious flesh wound. It didn't make it to the skull though, unfortunately, if you can see that. Yeah. This is kind of to be expected. I didn't expect crazy amounts of damage with a throwing knife. Especially, this thing is very light. If you had one that weighed a lot more, you'd get more damage. We actually might have gotten to the skull. The flesh is a little bit. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah, definitely broke into the skull there. You can see the uh, white pieces on the end. Yep. Now this, you can see it did not go to the skull. You can see the point right there if I push it through. But still, that's gonna leave some stitches. Now this is just tearing up the flesh. Oh. Now we did get a little bit of bone right there. I don't know if you can see that. Yep. yeah. Ooh. I didn't expect that is pretty good. Oh, there we go. And that actually did a lot better than I thought. Wow. Got that in there, Matt? Ooh. Wow. Now this is actually pretty deep with the flesh. I don't think we got into the bone, but that is crazy for the flesh, man. What would you have to say about that? Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's there's a lot of wow, a lot of flesh damage there. Yeah, 
it actually cuts pretty clean into this. Again, a lot of flesh damage, nothing really to the skull. Let's turn it this way, because this is where the skull is actually, the flesh is a little bit thinner. Maybe we can get something there. Ooh, got his neck. So here we got the neck. And that's over an inch thick, right into the neck. Not that deep. Again, no real, again, no real bone damage. Maybe a little bit of cracking and chipping here and there. But again, this is just tearing up the flesh. It's actually doing a lot better than I thought it would. We're gonna let Matt have a couple of swings at it. Oh, you got the bone, I think, right? Yeah, it hit right off the skinless part. Oh, yeah. Is this it? Oh no, it's right there actually. So this is actually what we can see how it does to the bone. Now, I don't know if you can see there. Matt's shot just hit directly onto the bone. This is where the bone is exposed a little bit. So you can kind of see how well this would do against bone. What'd you have to say about that? That was a pretty nice shot, Matt. Yeah, just some minor scrapes. I mean, the skull is, is going to really stay intact for the most part. Again, we're not very big people. Maybe if you had a big lumberjack throwing this thing in there, you might be able to get some uh, some penetration with the skull, but other than that, uh, the, the skull is gonna actually hold up pretty well. Yeah, and I think if those were a lot heavier, we'd do a lot more damage. Like when we did the Shanghai Shadow, that was actually getting into the bone, but that also the knife is quite a bit heavier. Let's go again, Matt. <gasps> nice, Matt. Yeah, pretty good. Again, we're gonna see what it does to the bone. So show us, Matt. No, you wanna do it this way with the, yeah, so you don't break off the tip. So about that much penetration here. And did it, oh wow. So that actually went into the bone, most of it, because this is only a few millimeters of flesh. Yeah, that's pretty close right there. What did you have to say about that swing there, Matt? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. It, 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 you know, it holds up well against the against the flesh, but it's just, you know, it's not really gonna do much against that, that bone marrow. That, There's that not a lot of mass there. for it to actually go through the bone. But that's to be expected. This is not like a one-hit kill weapon like Call of Duty. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Again, Matthew's getting into the skull. And we got some good. Oh, yeah, you can see. Gonna just rip that up. You, got, you did it pretty good, Matt. That was a good shot. Yeah, not too bad. You can see it went a couple millimeters into the bone. Now I'm actually surprised the tip is not really breaking. Cause these are just stainless. Ooh. This is insane. So we actually did break the bone here. Now I think this is a little bit thinner, the bone in this area. That's maybe why it broke, but wow. What'd you have to say about that, Matt? Yeah, pretty impressive. Again, it is a thinner part of the skull, but for a small, lightweight throwing throwing knife, not too bad. Do you think this would be a one hit? Uh, it's. I mean, I don't think so. It's gonna be a lot of medical attention, though. The serious medical attention. Again, to the bone. Not too much damage to the flesh. Oh, we did another one up here. And we actually got, again, into the flesh. 
Or do you think this is with the, the needle? That might have been the needle, yeah. So this is with the needle, and that, even though it has a broken tip, was able to get down in the bone. We could tell that this is actually the needle because of the black. That's pretty impressive. Again, I think the damage is gonna be the same with the needle, even though we haven't really got quite the most accurate shot with this. It's gonna get down in to the flesh, but not really through the bone. Maybe like this, if we get a lucky shot, but I don't think this is going through. Again, this is about the same weight here. Ooh. The blunt end of this actually punctured the flesh a little bit up here. So it was like this. It stuck in for a few seconds, but the weight of it all ultimately fell down. So unfortunately, with the ninja needle, the black bean, we didn't get the results we wanted to. I think it's also because it's low on the ground. We don't really have a table. And we're not gonna bring a table in the woods. I will definitely file this down and revisit this in the future. Maybe we'll get some different weights. I think the cold steel one is a lot bigger. We'll have a lot better results. This actually really impressed me today. I did not think we were gonna get through the skull with that. I thought it would mostly be flesh wounds with what we saw. And that's what we mostly saw was mostly for flesh wounds. If you get it in the right area, you can get through the skull. And it can be very, very deadly. Mostly hospitalization with this type of weapon. But I'm excited to see how well that actually did. Any closing remarks, Matt? Yeah, so more or less, again, kind of what we expected, right? Not a whole lot of damage against the skull, but it holds up very well against flesh. So keep in mind, we just have a head here. When you have an actual target, an actual person there, you have a lot more space to work with than just a head, right? So mm -hmm. most of your body is flesh, and if you are carrying around a few of those things, right, a few throwing knives, and you're able to get off a few shots in the arm, hit center of body mass, right? Yeah, especially the center of the body. Yeah, you could do a lot of damage because, again, it is very good against flesh, but against bone, it, it's really, you're going to have to either be a very strong person, a very good thrower, or, or you need a heavier knife. Yeah, or you need to have a different weapon to, to be able to actually go through strong bone. All right, so if you like this video, if you like this little weapon test, this little throwing weapon test, make sure to subscribe. We're definitely going to revisit the Ninja Spike. We're going to get some heavier ones, and we're going to try to not break it on the rocks. Uh, we'll try to do it on maybe a grassy area next time, but we figured we're going out for a hike anyways. We might as well test it so if you like this video tell them what to do matt yep if you like this video go ahead leave a like below also give us a comment let us know what you'd like to see tested in the future and if you have any suggestions also drop those down below otherwise hit that bell icon after you subscribed to make sure that you get the the latest notifications thank you subscribe yep we're also on a hike today actually on the cat and thomas trail so if you'd like to see that video make sure you go ahead Stay subscribed to the channel. Also hit the bell again and that video will be coming out very soon.